All right, come explore a park with me. I got Raven with me. Oh, what's this? I don't know what that was. Now that's weird. Someone would leave that behind. All right, so after walking around in here, I recognize this place. Raven and I actually have been here um, like maybe a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And I made a TikTok video a while back. It was just me and Raven in these woods. And I was complaining about how I was enjoying my time, but I have to go to work now. I think I woke up really early and I drove to this park. And then we walked around and stuff like that. We saw a lot of cool stuff. Then I had to go to work, and so I had to drive back home. And I was thinking about how working the nine to five was a real bummer. Oh, jeez. Come on, Raven. So this is a horse trail, actually. So this trail is for horses. And so there's a bunch of horse poop like laying around everywhere. And Raven keeps coming up and like marking her scent on the poop. All right, so there's a fork in the trail here. I think I'm gonna take a left turn and go here. Let's go. Dark too, because the canopy, the sunlight's not coming through. No way, I think I may have found a puffball mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna tell Raven to stay and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna see if I can pick it. Okay, let's see, come here. Okay, I'm gonna go quick because there might be people that show up over there on the trail. I'm gonna tell Raven to stay and there's a puffball over there. I'm gonna try to get it. All right, going. Go, stay. Oh, there's people over there. Okay, stay Raven. Stay. No way, this is so crazy. Holy crap is huge. Holy crap. Oh, ran into a web. Okay. Oh no. It's bad now. It's bad. It's too soft and yellow and stuff. Okay, take a look at this. It's gonna be yellow. No, oh, I'm like a few days late. That sucks. That's so cool though. Like I've never been able to collect a puffball this size that's like good to eat. When it turns yellow like this, um, it's no longer good. Okay, we're just gonna leave it there then. Okay, we're gonna keep moving then. I am going to make sure to check for ticks when I get back though. Don't wanna have ticks. And Raven right now doesn't have a flea or tick medication. Because Raven has pretty much been recovering her leg most of the year, and so she wasn't really going outside. Stay. I think I hear deer. Like there's some really loud f footsteps in the in the woods over there. All right, let's go, Raven. No. Yeah, flea and tick preventative. I think I might wanna get a few months like worth of it, maybe for, for September and October, because around that time, the ticks are still somewhat active. They're not as active as like a couple months ago, but now that Raven has gotten a lot better, I wanna bring her out and stuff again. And so, and so a tick preventative might be uh, a good thing to have. Right over here, 
right there. I think that's some sort of coral mushroom. I'm gonna check. Stay. Oh. Okay. It's really dry. This might be lion's mane or something similar to it. I'm gonna take this home and I'm gonna take pictures and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can identify this on a Facebook page. Okay. There you go, not bad. Keep going then. So yeah, I've got this light that is really bright. It's uh, it's four thousand lumens, and this thing, like later on is going to be incredibly useful when it gets darker. Yeah, I remember going through here. I remember there was another fork here and then I kept going this way because over here you can see a small like lake and I was trying to get to the lake, but there really is no access to this lake or it's, I think it's a small pond to be honest. Yeah, it opens up to this bunch of open land here. Yeah, see, there's a pond over there or a lake, but there's no access to it. I don't think there's any fish then. Well, who knows? There actually might be fish, but just can't access it. We've been walking about half a mile for about 18 minutes so far. I usually keep Raven's walking sessions about 20 minutes long or so, but it seems like she's doing fine. So we'll keep going. She has been able to handle 20 minute walks just fine. And we've been doing that for maybe a week now, I think. And so yeah, a little longer wouldn't hurt. Yeah, so I remember last time I was here, I got down to this section here and then I walked back because I had to go to work. <laughs> This time, I don't have to go to work, but the sun is setting. So that is somewhat of a problem. And I don't really want to be in those woods when it's like super dark. And just now, it was kind of dark already because the sun isn't getting through. I heard a coyote. I heard a howl. It was off in the distance that way. I got to be really extra careful and extra aware of my surroundings because I've had a coyote encounter before. It's not a fun experience at all. And at the time, I was not equipped at all. I didn't have anything with me that really would have like helped me protect myself. So at that time, that coyote kept howling and stalking us. It howled at us and stuff, and uh, it was stalking me and Raven through the woods. And then we finally came out to this big open space, and it was just like running through the woods, running through like the tree line. I was backing away while facing it. And so that's basically what you're supposed to do. And I didn't really know that uh, until I looked it up later. But yeah, that's basically what I did. And uh, I picked up a stick. And I was like going like this, you know, waving it around and I threw it at it and stuff to try to scare it off. And then finally the troopers kind of showed up because it, because they heard the howling and stuff. And they asked if I was okay and stuff. Where was the coyote and stuff? Because sometimes, and they said that they may need to put it down or relocate it if it keeps causing problems. But apparently that area was known to have coyotes and I didn't know that. <laughs> and so, yeah, that day, uh, it kind of scared me a little bit, you know, going into the woods and stuff because that's the first time I encountered a predator and it was scary. And so ever since then, I have been a lot more cautious about um, like going to the woods with Raven and stuff because Raven, she's, 
protective, but when she saw a coyote, she wanted to play with it. <laughs> and I can guarantee you that coyote did not want to play with Raven. It wanted to eat her. Oh, it's getting a little chilly. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, look at all of this. This is all goldenrod. Goldenrod can be really medicinal um, and it's really useful, I think, um, but I've never really cared to like collect enough of it and do anything with it. I might consider doing it though. I might look up what goldenrod is used for and uh, may come back and pick a bunch. This is actually like the best time to pick it though. Like see how everything is yellow? This is a nice trail. I don't know how far this trail is gonna lead us though. I'm gonna check my map. Okay. So it looks like I'm just going like, like that. There is really no trail that kind of loops around. And so I think I'm just gonna have to backtrack. This trail here, if I keep going, yeah, it's, that's not gonna work. Let me see. It's gonna take too much um, walking. Like if, if Raven, was fully, fully recovered, I probably would consider like going this full loop and then going all the way up here and then coming back, but I'd rather not. Let's, let's go Raven. Yeah, so we are turning around and we're gonna go back into the woods again and hopefully we're not stalked by a coyote. I would rather be stalked by a deer. <laughs> Mainly because deer would likely not find us appetizing. And so they would usually just run away. So if you look at this, I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up really, but right here, this is a small game trail. You can see it because all the grass is kind of pushed down and it kind of, like the animal probably like jumps through here or something right here and jumps over and then goes through. And so this is something that is really useful to like identify because if you were in a survival situation, these are the areas where you would put your snares. Um, and I've been watching a lot of Alone. It's the show on the History Channel. And a lot of the contestants, they bring 20 gauge wire with them and then they set up snares. And, uh, and this is like an ideal spot to put it like a snare because you can probably get like a small animal or something same with right here too you can see the trail it kind of like goes through and it turns that way same with right here you can totally see like all the grass is down and then the trail goes in there and leads in there it must be a deer trail but this is really nice the bugs are not too big of a concern. There are some small gnats and stuff flying around, but they're not that bothersome. There's no mosquitoes right now because it's a little cooler. This is my ideal weather when it's like somewhat chilly like this. All right, I think Raven is beginning to feel it in her leg. I think she's uh, kind of done here. We've gone a little too far. She's doing okay though. We'll kind of take it easy. She seems fine though. on this side. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. See, she's kind of hopping. Like when you look at Raven though, you can tell that her muscle on her right leg is much larger than the one on the left. The left there's a lot of muscle sort of almost missing it seems and so we need to work on it raven's able to kind of do some short sprints and stuff like that uh, but i've avoided her doing all of that stuff for now because i want to recover raven slowly and steadily i don't need her to like be a hundred percent like as fast as she could i would prefer that she takes her time recovering all right, we're gonna enter the woods again. It looks really dark. <laughs> I don't like going to unfamiliar parks and uh, be in the woods like this. It creeps me out because it's dark and scary. 
because not only do I have to kind of be aware for myself, but I have to be aware of Raven also. So like I have my light. This is like the standard brightness setting. I have different dimness too, but this is the standard bright. This is the main like 4,000 lumen bright. I'm gonna keep Raven close. There you go. This close is fine. I don't need her farther. Oh wow, it really is dark. You can't even see anything. There you go. The GoPro can't pick up the footage. See? Like I can see, fine. It's not that dark, but uh, yeah. When I have the light on, you can see, right? Let me see if I can switch over to my phone and film because sometimes the phone the phone is able to see a little bit better oh huh, yeah see that's not that bad but it is getting dark though i am beginning to have a hard time seeing what you're seeing right now on my phone is a little bit a lot it's actually a lot brighter on the phone footage right now. It's a, it's a slight tinge darker, and it's a little harder to see. I'm looking through my phone and I can see better. <laughs> and Raven appears to be doing good too. I'm gonna be honest. If I were to do like a camping thing and just set up a tarp and go to sleep in the woods in here overnight, it would be a little bit creepy. But I want to face that fear and eventually do overnighters and stuff. Like I've gone camping before, you know, but I have a tent and everything, everything is closed up and I'm like with friends. I've never done a solo thing before. Okay, I am out of the woods kind of now, back out on the main trail. There you go, good. All right, let's go. That baby carriage thing is no longer here. It must have been those people that went up on that hill over there. They must have left it here and they walked up there. I think that's what must have happened. Let's go, Raven. See, Raven slowed down. Come on, let's go. She slowed down, but her leg does appear to be fine still. All right, I'm back. All right, well, this is a real quick video, I guess. I don't know. It was mostly just a vlog and just me rambling and talking about stuff. Hope you enjoyed it, Raven. Seem to have fun sniffing around, being on horse poop. <laughs> I'm gonna check for ticks and stuff like that in a little bit. Yeah, give Raven a bath. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.